Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my shop. Today I'm gonna do my first unboxing video ever. I'm gonna be unboxing the One Way Stronghold Chuck. I had to buy this recently. I, I finally upgraded my wood lathe to something that's uh, way better than the old Craftsman that I had before. Uh, unfortunately, different Morse taper. I had to go and uh, acquire a new chuck and a new life center, etc., uh, which is good. I'm excited. I made the plunge. I went for the uh, coveted one-way uh, chuck uh, stronghold model. So stick around. I'm gonna unbox this and uh, show you how it's being installed on the lathe. The first thing you will notice is that the one-way chuck comes in two boxes. One of them is the adapter. To find out which adapter fits your lathe, you can go on their website. There's a nice chart. Uh, and Or if you're like me, I simply went to the store and the gentleman there was uh, super helpful, was able to uh, guide me and make sure I had the right adapter for my lathe. So we'll show you how to install that later. And now for the Stronghold Chuck itself. First thing uh, you'll notice is the instruction manual. Very helpful to find out how to install it properly on your lathe. In the box, you'll find a T-handle hex key that will be used to attach the adapter to the back of the chuck, but also can be used later if we need to change the jaws of the chuck. The second thing is what's called a church key. Uh, this church key uh, comes disassembled. It is used to tighten and loosen the chuck. There's a bag with a few uh, hex screws and uh, plastic tips for the church key. The other piece is a worm screw. Uh, this is a screw with a very large thread that is used to begin your, uh, when you want to turn a bowl, for example, to affix a wood piece. And this screw is has been machined specifically to fit into the one-way chuck. And finally, the chuck itself, very heavy, very solid. On the back, this is the uh, cylindrical part uh, called the scroll. And this is what gets uh, traction from the church key to open and close the jaws. And now that everything is unboxed, we'll begin the assembly. The first thing we'll be doing is the easy part. We'll assemble the church key. Just two pieces that slide into each other and those plastic nubs go on top. I've read on some uh, wood turning forums that it's a good idea to actually glue these little parts uh, on the handle so that we don't lose them. There you go, it's a working church key. I'm not really sure why it's called a church key. According to the instruction manual, the first step is to uh, wipe the outside part of the adapter to make sure there's no grit or dust or anything that could um, get lodged between uh, this taper and the inside of the chuck. And this is the part of the chuck where this will fit in. And uh, same thing, we're just gonna give this a little wipe. Um, I did blow some air earlier in it with my air compressor also to make sure there's uh, no residues. And then we should get a nice, perfect, smooth fit in there. Then what you wanna do is make sure that uh, your uh, there's only one way this goes, so there's only one way that your uh, hex screws uh, will fit with those two holes. The next step is to uh, take the two M5 uh, hex screws, uh, socket screws that have come with uh, your chuck, and to uh, put them into their respective hole. And then we're going to use the hex key and... Uh, Tighten them, but you have to alternate to make sure we get even pressure uh, on each side. So I'm just going uh, finger tight until I feel some uh, some resistance. I'm going to alternate here. Uh, this is important to make sure that everything is uh, going to be centered and resting properly. Uh, once you're all the way in, uh, just give it a little turn. You don't want to over tighten. Uh, the taper on the adapter and the chuck uh, will uh, ensure that this stays in place. Once this is done and it's all secured, uh, we're good to go. I just want to mention that the two other holes that are there are used for removing the adapter from the chuck. And uh, the way it's done is essentially you would unscrew uh, the hex screws. I'll do one here. 
actually I'll do both. And uh, what happens is uh, any wood turners I have tried in the past to uh, separate two pieces that are joined together in a taper will know that it can be pretty difficult. So what's happening by moving the screws to the other holes, uh, those essentially become jack screws. So as you uh, tighten them, they will push away from the truck and allow the adapter to be uh, removed. This is a very nice feature in the engineering of this truck. I have now retightened the screws in the uh, adapter and we're now ready to mount it on the lathe. Probably the easiest process, uh, we simply have to uh, screw it on the thread. Just have to take it slow and make sure there's uh, not uh, any play or any binding uh, as we screw it on. And it goes all the way to the end. There you go. And uh, according to the manual, all we have to do is unscrew it, give it a good spin, and there we go. Once it's assembled, it's ready to go. All we have to do is to uh, use our church key to uh, loosen the jaws and tighten them up, and then we're ready to use it. So there you go, we have the one-way chuck assembled. To use it, very simple. The church key fits into the hole and this is what's used to either tighten or uh, loosen the jaws. I'm looking forward to give this a try. Very happy with my purchase, super easy to install. That's it for this unboxing video and install of the One Way Stronghold Chuck. Uh, thank you for being here. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I intend to post a number of uh, woodwork, wood turning and woodworking videos in the future. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.